There we go. Now it's recording. Yeah. Okay, it's recording now. Okay, I'm going to show you how to assemble the syringe. You definitely want to put the cartridge in first. You're going to pull back slightly with your non-dominant hand. You're going to pull back on the harpoon so that makes room for the cartridge to slide in and then let it go. You want to engage the harpoon. You do not want to hold it like this while you engage the harpoon. There is a chance that it could shatter and that would cut your hand. So make sure that you're holding it more like this around the metal part here and then give it a good solid tap. I always like to double check and make sure that it's securely engaged inside the cartridge. And lastly, you go ahead and put the needle on. You simply screw it in, trying to keep it straight as you're going, sliding it onto the syringe. Okay, and now it's assembled. I'm going to insert it into the stick shield. And now I'm going to test it out. You always want to test and make sure everything's good to go before you are ready to use it in the patients in the chair. So I'm going to take the cap off. Sometimes people have a hard time with this. There's a definite knack to taking the cap off. You need to pull pretty firmly, but pull straight out. There we go. I'm testing to make sure the harpoon is engaged. And I'm also testing to make sure the flow is good. And it is. Okay, good. So now I am going to recap. There's two ways to recap. The first way is the, um, the way that most people do it, I think. It's a one-handed technique. You cannot use both hands when you recap. You have to use a one-handed technique. And one of the biggest factors is to keep the needle straight so it doesn't barb on the inside of the cap when you're putting it back together. My hand sometimes feels a little bit shaky, so to give myself a little bit of sturdiness, I'll put my hand under my wrist like this, not my hand, that gets a little too close to the needle. Hold your arm back here to help steady yourself, and then you can put it in. Once the needle has been covered all the way to the hub inside the cap, you can use your other hand to finish like that and make sure it's on securely. Okay, then when you set it down, you always want to set it with the window down so that when you pick it up, the window will be up. I'm going to show you the other way to recap. And again, you have to use one hand. I secure my arm. I get it in. But I don't need to use my other hand always. Sometimes I'll just tip it up like this at kind of a 90 degree angle to the table and then push. There. I haven't even had to use my other hand. So that's another good way to do it. And again, when you set it down, you want to set it with the large window down so it's all good to go. Because that means when you grab it later, the large window will be up where you can see it. Okay. Notice that I have um, a few things assembled here. I have a cup that says clean and a cup that says dirty. Remember, when you're in clinic, you should have a clean side to the cart and a dirty side to the cart. And I like to distinguish between the two by putting the bib on the part that's going to be dirty. So I know anything that's on the bib is going to be dirty. The clean cup, and since my gloves are still clean, I'm going to pick it up, has clean needles, extra needles, extra cartridges and whatnot. And I'm going to keep them nice and clean and sterile so that if I don't use them, I can put them back in the door. The dirty cup is um, what we're going to use to when we disassemble or when we're done with the cartridges. And so now I'm going to show you actually how to disassemble the, the syringe. So what you want to do is get the harpoon out. And sometimes it can be stuck pretty good inside there. So I like to give it a little twist as I pull. Again, pull the harpoon back. 
pull this out and you're going to place it in a dirty cup like so. The needle, you normally want to take it off and put it directly into the sharps container. However, if you're doing multiple injections, you may not be able to do that right away until you're done completely anesthetizing the patient. So if that's the case, we're just gonna put it in the dirty cup for now. So we're gonna unscrew the needle and then we're gonna place the whole stick guard over the cup and pop it into the cup, okay? That should not stay like that through the whole appointment though. As soon as you're done anesthetizing, you need to take this and dispose of it in the sharps container so it doesn't stay out during the whole appointment used needles on the cart. 